Hey there and welcome to video number five of the Jovo Voice app video series about staging. Uh, this time you will learn how to reference environment variables in your app.json file. Let's get started. So if we take a look at the, our current app.json, uh, we have a local stage, which is uh, for local development. And then we have a dev stage, which is hosted on AWS Lambda um, for shared development across the team. And what we also did in the last video is we added a config override here. So um, to make sure that um, only the code that is hosted on AWS Lambda is using uh, the DynamoDB integration instead of the file persistence integration that Jovo uses for local development. And what we did there, so let me go back to the browser and to the Lambda console. What we did there is we added an environment variable here, a stage variable. Um, with the value def uh, to make sure the framework knows in which stage it is currently in in this environment. And so this is one example of how environment variables can be used. And um, I will show you a few more examples. So for example, um, the Lambda function is usually a sh shared environment. So uh, usually um, the whole team shares one def Lambda and develops on it, tests on it, and so on. Uh, but what happens if um, different developers on the team want to develop locally on their own um, on their own profiles? So uh, right now, um, this local stage here is hosted on my personal profile, which is my uh, default Ask CLI profile, and um, I have hard coded this skill ID here. And so um, if a new team member uses this app.json file, they have to manually change the skill ID here. Um, have to commit those changes and so on. So this can get quite tedious to change. And so um, this is why we introduced environment variable references um, in the Jovo framework. So let me just get rid of that here. Um, so ideally, I want to have everything generic that's in the app.json file and people can just store their own uh, personal information in an environment variable. So for example, uh, if I get rid of that, um, I can reference environment variables by doing um, by using this reference here with process.env and then the key so for example this one here um, would reference uh, a key um, variable and um, i would call it skill id for example and so this uh, is now trying to access the environment variables and um, similar to uh, the Lambda here, where we set it in the Lambda environment, we need to set it in our local environment as well. And we can do that with a, a .env file. So let's just uh, create a new file. .env. And that's it. And we can just add skill ID here and add our current uh, skill ID. And uh, so this should work. So let, let's just try that out by doing um, by doing Jovo build again for the local stage. Okay, now let's take a look at the platforms folder, the Alexa skill folder, and the skill Oh no, it's in the it's in the ask config. So is it the same one? Yep, it's it's the same one. Um, so it successfully grabbed um, the skill ID uh, from the environment files. And uh, one more thing. Um, so for example, we set the default stage to local. And, um, um, but in the Lambda file, we set the stage to def. So um, the if the default stage is set, it's still looking in the environment uh, variables. So even if I, um, even if I delete the um, default stage here in the app.json and add a stage here, this works. So if I now do Jovo build, it still uses the, the local one. Okay, cool. What are what else uh, could we do? So so right now um, we reference the Joe webhook URL. We reference the skill ID. So any developer could just download this app.json and create new files with their own uh, credentials. And this might be helpful as well for the table name, for example. So um, if we go here and do process dot dot table name. 
uh, we can define the, uh, the table name for our DynamoDB table in the environment variables. So let's, let's try that out. Let's do Java deploy stage dev target Lambda to just upload it to Lambda and, and try that out there. So let's add a table name key here. Let's just call it table, table test. Okay, let's save it now. And so once it's uploaded, uh, we can try that out and run the test again and see if the new table called table test uh, was created. Okay, deployment is completed. So let's just refresh. Double check if the new code is successfully uploaded. It is, um, and now let's run the test. Cool, okay, so it seemed to have worked. If we now go to services and DynamoDB, we find new table, table test. So that's it. That's how, how easily you can reference uh, environment variables uh, in your app.json file. And uh, we, we think this is super helpful if you, if you want to create your own template that uses your own stages that can be shared uh, among the team members so that not everyone has to like update their own content hard coded. Cool, so that's it. Uh, in the next video of the series, I will show you how to not only deploy it to Alexa, um, but also deploy it to Dialogflow um, for Google Actions with the Jovo CLI. See you soon.